Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, my name is Aaron and this is uh, our brand new YouTube channel Strength and Spirit. Um, basically, I just wanted to give you guys a little rundown of who I am, just introduce myself to the YouTube world. Um, so, my name is Aaron. Um, I am, well, I used to be a powerlifter. Uh, I was quite a big guy. And then I post a picture up so you guys can see. Have a look at this. I'll show you, show you what I used to look like. As you can see, I was a, I was a very big, <laughs> big old boy, um, as they say. Um, so yeah, I was a power lifter. Uh, my main focus in life was being big, uh, pushing heavy weight, being the strongest guy around, which I absolutely loved. Um, cut a long story short, uh, I used to eat a lot of food um, to keep my weight up, to keep my strength up. As you guys know, power lifters need to be, you know, big bulky guys you know I was a very strong person as well so I was eating a lot of food I was lifting a lot of heavy weight didn't really do much cardio um, wasn't really worried about you know going out and getting fresh air and that kind of thing it was mainly wake up in the morning eat friggin I used to eat friggin lamb chops in the morning and bloody what's it cereal then friggin protein shake then I'd sit down and be knackered after all that. I'd have to sit down for a bit, then go friggin' go train, push some heavy weights, and it weren't even really. I mean, being a powerlifter is training to an extent, but it's not really where you're working a sweat. It's more power, you know, and, and you need that strength. And um, so I was going to the gym, doing that. You know, I'd finish gym, I'd eat a massive meal. Uh, then a few hours later, eat another massive meal. Then dinner, a massive meal. So I was eating a lot of food. I wasn't really walking anywhere, so I drive. I wasn't getting any fresh air. Um, couldn't fit into very many clothes either. I was so big. Um, couldn't fit into many clothes, so that was a bit annoying because I used to love, you know, dressing up on a weekend, looking nice, taking the missus out and stuff. It was got to the point where I was wearing frigging tracksuits, and that 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 happened for I think it was about two or three years. I was like that. I had, you know, I could only fit into fucking tracksuits. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, after doing that for a while, you know, um, that kind of took a toll on my health where I wasn't, I couldn't breathe very well, high blood pressure. Um, I didn't feel comfortable in who I was. Um, finding it, especially at night time, my chest, it was very hard to, I don't know, how can I put it? It was hard to, um, just to get the air into it, I don't know, it was just, but I was so, I was really big, you know, and, and um, I was one of them power lifters that didn't care about having abs or anything like that, it was just literally being big, strong, pushing the heaviest weight in the gym, and my belly was, my belly was massive, it was massive. <laughs> so, um, I was in a dilemma, I didn't know what to do, I was advised by my doctor to, to go easy, to lose a bit of weight, to start going to the gym. My doctor said to me, start going to the gym. I said, to the gym? I said, mate, I said, I could probably pick up your car, you know. <laughs> but um, but I said to him, mate, I go, I go to the gym. He goes, do you do any running, any cardio and that kind of thing? And I said, no, I don't, I don't. Um, he said, yeah, you've got high blood pressure. He goes, you, you get signs of asthma as well from where you're putting strain on your chest you know because lifting heavy stuff all the time it does put a strain sometimes you need to give it a little rest and I just kept going and going and going and um, so I you know I, I've always been someone that likes to try new things uh, so got on to just started reading books and started um, I read a book from by Ralph Smart very 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 intelligent man uh, I'm looking up on YouTube and uh, it was just about you know why we should go into nature why we should get away from the towns and you know he was taught and uh, you know I started watching a few of his videos as well and he was saying you know it, it breathing is the most essential part of our lives you know and and, and just keeping healthy and keeping fit and uh, you know and then I started you know watching videos from Elliot Hulse you know these guys really inspired me if you guys haven't heard of them Go check them out, man. They're awesome guys, man. Elliot Hulse is a strength coach, and and started w watching his 
you know, watching his videos as well, started reading more books. Then I came across um, meditation, meditation and yoga. Sorry guys, let me just check something. So, sorry. Um, then I come across meditation and uh, meditation and yoga. Let me get this camera right. And uh, a meditation has always been something that's been in my life. I've never really done it, but I know a lot of people who have, who have tried it and say it's absolutely awesome, you should do it. Um, but I never thought I'd give it a chance. I said, nah, it's not for me sitting there, mm, and yoga where you're doing all this stretching. And obviously I was a very, very big guy. I'm still a big guy, but I'm then, obviously as you've seen the picture, I was massive. But, um, so, uh, you know, I, I looked into the whole meditation yoga thing. I said, nah, it's not really for me. You know, I don't, I don't really want to do that. But I started doing walks anyway. I started doing walks in the morning, fasted walks, which I still do now. Started doing fasted walks, drinking lemon water in the morning. Um, started doing intermittent fasting, which I still do. It's been a few months. I still do intermittent, intermittent fasting. Um, I put a video up of all of this stuff you know in a few days time so you can guys can I can break it down for you um, and started listening to like audiobooks that kind of stuff and everything just kept guiding me back to meditation even audiobooks when it was I, was I was listening to audiobooks about how to become rich and successful and everything kept coming back to meditation and manifesting and and being outside in nature and, and all this stuff and so I said all right let, let me try this you know and I read a book on how to do it I uh, watched a video for beginners. So I went out into nature and I've done the most easiest meditation there is. And that's just to... Just to breathe. That's it. Even that just relaxed me. <laughs> just to breathe. I've done the most easiest meditation. It's just to breathe. And, um, and just let your thoughts go and let them run wild, doesn't matter. After doing this for about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, I woke up, I woke, I was awake, but I, I come out of it. And the buzz it gave me and the, the, the calmness in my body and everything, it was absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I, I couldn't believe that I've been gone, I've done, I've gone this long in my life without having this and I felt so calm and I even noticed just from that 20 minutes, I, I, the rest of the day, I was so peaceful, and I, you know, I didn't want to talk negative about anyone. You know, my, my missus, she, you know, if she sees someone that looks a bit strange, she's, oh look, look at, you know, look at that person, like, what, uh, what are they wearing, and this and that. And I didn't want to judge anyone. Everyone's their own person, I, and it just made me change who I was. I used to be angry. People used to look at me strange. I, I would lash out. I'd say, who are you looking at? What are you doing? Uh, what do you want? And it was just people were looking at me and you know when if, if someone when people were looking I, I just said hi you're right that was it hi you're right and they're like yeah shit yeah no I'm all right thanks like, and that was it just go about my day and everything was a lot peaceful more peaceful and as as time went on I started getting into yoga my body feels all felt all loose even now you know I do yoga a lot I do meditation every single day it's something that's I've been with me for a few months now and absolutely it, it's absolutely changed my life um, so I, I, I don't I don't power lift anymore. I don't power lift anymore. Um, I do I regularly. I'm in the gym, you know, every day, training. But it's more more about strength than being big and being bulky. It's more about being my getting my strength up, being the strongest version of myself. You know, um, sculpting my body. You know, our body is our temple. You know, and, and it's something I always. For, never thought about you know but it is now you know uh our body is our temple you've got to make it look good what looks good on the outside will look good on the will feel good on the inside you know and and that's what i'm doing now you know and and uh i'm reading a lot more i eat a lot of healthy food i intermittent fast every single day which i'll put a video up of what that is because it's absolutely changed my life um i go into nature every single every single day now just to breathing good air get away from the city or the stress of life or the toxic fumes in the in the world and, and I just go out and breathe good air and I live peacefully and it's the most amazing life you know and and what I'm trying to do here with this channel strength and spirit is I'd like to encourage more people to 
you know, who don't maybe go to the gym, who don't go into nature, who don't meditate, who don't do yoga, who don't read, who don't, who don't, you know, who eat bad foods, who are just chasing money or just chasing, you know, materialistic things. Just I want to, I want to encourage them to come over to the other side to understand that, you know, I, for me myself, I was like that. I was always chasing money and chasing, um, chasing party parties and. And chasing, you know, the the hor most horrible food that you could get out there, you know, really fast food that was not good for my body, and I was chasing materialistic things. And it's not really about that, you know. It's not about that. Life isn't about that. Life is about a lot. It's much more. There's a, a whole other life out there which is just waiting for you guys, you know, to and and all the stresses in life, all the anxieties and everything, they don't need to be there, you know. It, you don't need medicines and stuff you just need to get away from your comfort zone get away from your comfort zone I'm rambling on a bit now guys but um, I'm glad I could introduce myself and uh, I hope you guys do enjoy the new channel uh, you'll see a lot of you know a lot of, uh, of a lot of other people on my channel as well who are going to be giving advice see some gym videos of what we do in the gym uh, and I hope you guys enjoy and um, any advice I can give you the email is in the description my Twitter everything like that uh, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy peace namaste